as you can see right behind me, you see two hollow body jazz style guitars. But today, the guitar I'm gonna review is this one. This is a Ibanez Artcore series model AF75BS1201. I've mentioned this in my other Ibanez guitar review. The thing I really don't like about guitar companies is when they name their model numbers just like a bunch of just random numbers just mixed together in one. You know, companies like Gibson or Fender, they have the Gibson Les Paul, the Gibson SG, Fender Stratocaster, Fender Telecaster, etc. Very easy names to remember, very simple names. But I don't know why some guitar companies like Ibanez, disregarding how the guitar plays or how the guitar is built or the quality of the guitar, I just don't know why they name it just a bunch of letters and numbers just jumbled together. AF75 BS1201. Who can remember that? I just thought that was weird. Anyways, Ibanez Artcore Jazz Box hollow body guitar. So when I review a guitar, when I buy a guitar and see a guitar, the first thing that I notice is the weight of the guitar. How heavy is the guitar when you put it on your lap? For this particular guitar, I'd say that this is on the lighter side of hollow bodies. This is, I'd say about six and a half maybe seven pounds for sure not a heavy heavy guitar not a super light guitar but still on the lighter side this d'angelico is definitely much heavier than this guitar for sure so if you guys have never heard of the brand ibanez ibanez is a pretty respected and very well known japanese electric guitar manufacturing company but usually for the ibanez brands a lot of the, the big star name guitarists like steve Vai or you know paul gilbert those guys they play ibanez mainly for you know, shredding type of music, going up and down, fretboards really quick, a lot of tapping, stuff like that. Definitely not a jazz genre that they play. But for Ibanez, they do make a variety of different style guitars, including a jazz box, which in my opinion is completely different from, you know, what Steve Vai plays. You know, imagine Steve Vai using this to shred and stuff. That'd be pretty funny. Even though it's possible, even though it's totally possible, I just cannot visualize that guy, you know, playing like a jazz guitar. Just to me, I don't know why. So overall, I'd say that Ibanez is known for making very high quality guitars or quality guitars for a somewhat affordable and I'd say balanced price point compared to other, you know, guitar companies like Gibson, very expensive. Martin, very expensive. Fender, very expensive for the most part. So in terms of the quality, I'd say that this is good quality. It's definitely not the highest quality guitar I've ever seen in my life, but for the price point, you know, I don't know the exact, you know, retail price for this guitar, but I'd say, you know, under 600, under 500 to be safe. For that price range, I'd say that this is not bad at all. For sure, the quality of this neck is the highest part of this guitar. Much higher than the quality of the body. This body is good quality, but the neck is where I get the most firmness for a guitar. And by firmness, I mean, you know, somebody handed me this guitar and I was just feeling around. The neck is the first thing where I notice, oh, they spent a lot of time on this neck, on making this neck. And indeed they did. It's just a very nice feeling neck, very nicely carved out. Perfect for jazz, you know, just chords. One feature that I really like about this guitar is the body is a sunburst theme color. And that theme goes, you know, on the front, on the back of the body, on the sides, but it also goes on the back of this neck. Very nice, you know, subtle feature in my opinion. Rather than having like a solid black colored neck, they blended the sunburst color with the black, giving a very interesting, unique looking color design, which I very much like. I also really enjoy the block inlays. I think it gives it a very elegant, classy look to a guitar. A lot of the higher models for Gibson, um, they do use a block inlay same with Gretsch but in my opinion just like this D'Angelico right here block inlay just completely changes the design of a fretboard you know the circle ones are nice but when it comes to the fretboard I just like how different companies do their own thing PRS has the birds the bird inlays which I really like Fender has the classic you know the dot inlays Gibson Gretsch and Ibanez 
they do have the block pearl inlays, which I think is just a very nice touch to a guitar. Headstock design, they obviously copied Gibson influence. This looks more of an Epiphone headstock design influence than a Gibson. Maybe a Guild headstock design, but honestly, the Gibson headstock design is just, in my opinion, the most iconic design. It's just so well made. I don't blame other companies when they copy Gibson. It's just too good, you know? And that's a similar concept for what Ibanez did. Very similar, you know, design to a Gibson. One interesting thing, a volute on the back of the headstock, back of the neck. And for those of you guys who don't know what a volute is, on a lot of the older Gibsons, um, Norlin era, if you guys are, you know, really into the Gibson history, late 70s, I have a late 70s Les Paul. It does have a volute. Apparently it's for, you know, the stability of the neck so that a neck headstock crack isn't as prominent, but who knows if that makes a difference. I just thought that was very funny interesting feature that they added to this Ibanez Artcore. I'd say that the weakest part of this guitar, this particular guitar is made in China and the theme of Chinese guitars um, from what I've experienced is just the quality of the metal and the plastic that they use is just not high quality compared to like a USA made guitar. That's the same case as this. The tailpiece metal is okay. Definitely not the highest quality I've ever seen. Plastic on the knobs is pretty cheap. I'm not gonna lie. Plastic on the selector tip is pretty cheap. You know, but at the same time, this is very minor. Stuff like this you can replace for less than 20 bucks, less than 30 bucks. Not a large investment. Pickups sound very good. I'm not sure what exact model pickups they used, but just from the sound itself, it's a very nice sounding guitar. Another weak part of this guitar, I'd say, is the quality of these tuners. In terms of tuning stability, the tuners itself are not bad, but just like the quality of the metal that they use, like I said, is not that high for a lot of these made in Chinese guitars that I've seen. But I'd say that as a intro, you know, a low intermediate level jazz box guitar, I say that this is a very nice guitar for that type of level, for that type of player. Obviously, if you're BB King, John Mayer, those types of level, you're not gonna be buying this guitar. You know, you'll buy something else, like a Gibson L5 CES or Gibson Birdland, you know, something like that. But if you're a home player, getting into jazz, getting into blues, a lot of these hollow body, semi hollow body guitars, and you're looking for an affordable one that's still pretty good quality, I say that this is not bad at all. In fact, I think it's perfect for that. So let me show you how this guitar sounds because in my opinion, this sounds pretty good. guitar at all. If I had to give a specific rating for this guitar build, I'd say that this is 7 out of 10. Not the highest quality guitar I've ever played or owned, but at the same time, not the lowest quality guitar I've ever owned either. I'd say it's just right in the middle. It's a good guitar. It's a reliable guitar, but don't expect the highest quality grade material. Don't expect the highest quality grade plastic in the metal. And if you're really, truly anal about stuff like that, the minor things, you can always replace it. It's not a big investment, you know? To me, you can tell 
if a guitar is good quality or not by just touching the fretboard. You know, the neck and the fretboard is just such a big part of a guitar. If the neck is weak, in my opinion, the guitar itself is weak, but that is not the case for this. Neck is high quality. Tone rating, if I had to give a rating for the sound, I'd give this an eight out of 10. This guitar definitely has a higher tone rating than the build quality. You know, at the end of the day, if you really think about it, a guitar is just, the pickup, you know, if the pickups are good, the guitar will sound good. You can make the body out of concrete. There's actually a dude on YouTube who made a guitar out of pure concrete and the guitar sounded good. And that was because of the pickups. And that showed me it's not about, you know, the wood. I mean, it does, but it's mainly the pickup and most importantly, the player. If you're a good player and you have good sounding pickups, you will make any guitar sound good. And I'm a firm believer of that. So overall, Ibanez Artcore Series model AF75 made in China. Not bad at all. Not bad at all indeed.